In this series of videos, we're gonna go over how to measure your subwoofer or speakers and use those measurements to fine tune your speakers and subwoofers to perfection. I'm gonna divide this series into very short videos and to the point so you can follow along. So use the links in the description or the link at the end of the video up here to navigate to the appropriate playlist. In the first video of the series, I will go over the choice of measurement microphones, what you cannot use, and what are some very budget-friendly options. So when we talk about microphones, I first wanna go over what you cannot use. The most popular one is of course the calibration microphone, these little mics that come with your receiver. Look at this, this came with my Yamaha receiver. You might be very tempted to hook this up, plug it onto your computer's 3.5 mm port and start measuring, but no, because this does not come with a calibration file and a calibration file will tell your software what this mic is all about, what the characteristics of this microphone is, what the frequency response and the measurement properties of this microphone is. So a calibration file is gonna be important. So this is a no-no. And some other popular options are something like this. This is a Shure SM58, very popular microphone, but no, cannot use this. There is no calibration file with this. And this is a Samson C01U, and this is a USB microphone. This can connect to your computer. Again, this does not come with a calibration file, so we cannot use this to measure your subwoofer. But you might be able to get away if you are just comparing two subwoofers and trying to align the phase. And of course, these are shotgun microphones, and these can also be connected to your computer through your 3.5 mm jack, but I do not recommend these as well. So now that we have eliminated some common microphones that we may be tempted to use, Let's go over some very budget-friendly option. This is in fact the most budget-friendly option you can find. Not a sponsored video, I bought this from Amazon myself. So it is gonna be an unbiased review as well. This was 60 bucks on Amazon and this is the Dayton Audio EMM6 calibration microphone. Let's quickly unbox this. This is not going to be a fancy unboxing or anything. Let's look at what's in it. All right, looks like this came with like a hard shell case that is good let's go over and open this up and looks like this is some advertisement we can ignore that it came with a graph of the frequency response we do not need this because we are going to download the calibration file versus using this plotted paper sheet graph and we have a little mic stand that came with it this is a very tiny stand. I don't know how you're gonna use this to place your microphone at the listening position. So I'm gonna put this right back in the box. Looks like we have a windscreen that is gonna be handy. And there is microphone holder. And I will go over how we use this. And there my friends is the microphone itself. So I'm gonna close this box temporarily. All right, so that is the Dayton Audio EMM6 measurement microphone and this is specifically meant for measurements 60 bucks now one end of it is an xlr connection so you will need an xlr to usb adapter and this also needs phantom power so if you are able to provide phantom power you can google that or i can give you an option what i have is i already had a sure x to you the sure x to you is an xlr to USB connector. So what would happen is the XLR end of it is going to connect to the XLR of the microphone, like so. So that logged in place. Now, this end can be connected to your computer. So your computer can now recognize this microphone through USB. I wanna go over a couple of other options. If you do not wanna deal with the hassle of buying a USB to XLR adapter or provide phantom power, you can buy instead of the EMM6, Dayton Audio also sells a UMM6. Now with the UMM6, you do not have to buy any of these adapters. You can simply connect that microphone directly to your computer. The UMM6, however, is around $36 more at the time of making this video. This was 60 bucks, that was $96. So you'll be paying around $36 more, but that is also the same or similar kind of microphone with the exception that it has direct connectivity to your computer. So that is a great option. Another very popular option is the U-Mic 1 from Mini DSP. 
It is $79 plus $30 shipping. I think that ships from the Mini DSP website from Hong Kong. So it takes a couple of weeks, I think, to arrive. And uh, you can buy the same microphone from Amazon. The last time I looked, it was $130 plus. So a little bit more expensive. Calibration microphone is an important step in the measurement of your subwoofers. In the next video, we will go over how to connect this microphone to your computer and your computer to the receiver, how to actually place this microphone at the main listening position. So coming up in the next video, the link to that video is right up here and also in the description. Thank you so much for watching. This is gonna be awesome.